What's up guys? I was just trying to enjoy my morning, have my morning McDonald's coffee. I think I even have a stain on this shirt. This is a super raw, super quick video because I was writing this morning's Lark Digest email and the news came out on Twitter that True Forks Funds, one of the largest firms in the industry, just announced that they are seizing operations due to insolvency. This unfortunately is huge news. As always, we don't like to ever speak ill on other firms, but because this is such an industry moving event, I think it's important that we mention it, kind of break down what's going on and what it means for both traders and the industry moving forward. Okay, so to back up a little bit so you have a little bit of context, if you aren't subscribed to Lark Digest, 24,000 traders, 25,000 traders are subscribed, so you can join that down below. But we broke down last week the post on Twitter from True Forex Funds CEO who said that when MetaQuotes cut them off, uh, that is when their issues first began. And they ran through two and a half years worth of savings to try and relaunch the company, which we think is phenomenal. Good on them for being so committed to relaunching the company. But in that post just six days ago, the CEO said that they had roughly 300 pending payouts due to them spending all of this capital to relaunch the firm. And the CEO said that they were committed, that's a direct quote, committed to working out and paying all of these pending payouts. They weren't able to offer a timeline, but they were committed to doing that. So everything looked good. It looked like, yes, they were having some issues, but that they were going to continue operating and that the future looked somewhat bright. But the news just broke directly from True Forex Funds' social accounts that they are seizing their operations immediately due to financial insolvency. And this is a huge blow to the industry as a whole because obviously competition makes everyone better. It offers more options to traders. And so this is really unfortunate to see. Now, obviously we can't speak specifically on what what went on with this company, why this happened, the specifics, because we have absolutely no idea. So rather than focus on that or try and guess, which is useless, I think it's important to maybe have a, a discussion on what it means for the industry, what it means for traders. So as we broke down in the Lark Digest email, first off, this is a huge blow to trust, both obviously the trust of traders that used True Forex funds, but the industry as a whole. It seems like almost every day, every week, a new firm is closing down or is denying payouts or is having some sort of issue. Trust, understandably, from the trader's perspective, is at an all-time low, and this is only going to make things worse. Still to this day, the best opportunity out there for traders is to take an evaluation program, pass, and receive a payout, but now that trust, uh, the trust that a firm is going to pay out their traders is at an all time low and that is really not great for traders. It's not great for the industry and this is only going to make things worse. So that's the first thing that really comes to mind. Secondly, if we haven't already received it, this is officially the signal that the industry needs and traders need that it is time for a move towards sustainability. The days of offering 500 to one leverage, huge drawdown limits, small profit targets, no limits on lot sizes, allowing gamblers to to full margin their account and receive huge payouts, those days are over. Yes, it was fantastic for traders that were able to utilize that environment when it was available, but it's no longer going to be possible. And I think that this is going to continue, firms are gonna continue running into problems if that is the method, if that is the type of program that they are offering. This is a clear signal that there needs to be a move towards sustainability. There needs to be a move towards traders treating their challenges, their funded accounts, whatever it is, more in line of how they would treat it as if it were their personal capital. When we launched Lark Funding June 1st, 2022, almost two years ago, some traders laughed at us because our leverage was lower because we had uh, some tighter restrictions on lot sizes. But clearly after two years of operating, this was the right move. This was the right call for us. And I hope that more firms will move towards this direction. And more importantly, that traders will start to see the benefit of having a program with sustainability uh, embedded into the program itself. Thirdly, this raises the question of, again, connected with sustainability, have all of the dominoes fallen or are there still firms that are going to run into issues? Again, we have absolutely no idea and this is connected to the first point that it hurts trust. So we hope that uh, things do get better, obviously. We hope that there aren't other firms that have issues because as I've always said, competition makes us all better, but that is still to be seen. Now for all of the pessimists out there, and I think there is a good case to be pessimistic based on what we have seen, I think it's important to note that 
there's a lot of FUD going around right now across the industry. Some of it is justified, absolutely, but I think in times of difficulty, it's important to keep a little bit of perspective. There are businesses across every single sector in the country that close every single day for a variety of different reasons. A business closing is not that uncommon. It's not uncommon uncommon at all. I think only one in five businesses remain open after five years of them opening, right? It is incredibly difficult to operate a business. And on top of that, the evaluation industry is a completely new industry. It's young, it's still growing, it's having growing pains. And so for those of you that are very pessimistic and are worried that these services are no longer going to be offered, that every firm is going to collapse, I think keeping that perspective of understanding that this is a new industry, um, things are going to be difficult. It's natural for businesses to close and for there to be adjustments. And I think that this was required, unfortunately, for the industry to move towards a model that is more sustainable. So long term, I think that we're moving in the right direction. But until we get there, obviously, this is painful. So if you were impacted by this or any firm that's been impacted, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope things get sorted out. I hope there are refunds. I hope there's no financial pain that uh, gets incurred by anyone. Obviously, it's super unfortunate. And as I said, we never want to speak ill on any other firm. Competition makes everyone better. So that being said, I hope that everything gets sorted out and the industry starts moving towards that better, healthier direction. So just wanted to break the news to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Lark Digest, 25,000 traders are receiving our emails every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're sharing all kinds of good stuff. So if you want to get industry breaking news, subscribe to that down below. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.